the second most common problem in lagoons. The second most common problem in lagoons, beyond lagoon sludge, which is the first most common problem, is short circuiting. Put simply, that is where your water, when it comes into your lagoon, takes a shortcut to the effluent. It does not hang around or follow the process and stay in the lagoon for the, the designed amount of time that it's designed to stay in the lagoon. Now, short circuiting is, in, in my mind, been such a common problem. Um, a good friend of ours, Steve Harris, has done a number of different hydraulic studies where he actually puts what he calls drogues in the water and he, he puts them in near the influent and he watches them as they flow through the lagoon. And it has been so common for him to see that a lagoon that theoretically is supposed to have five to ten days of, of time that the water sits in the lagoon that actually has a matter of hours. And when you think about that from a treatment perspective, that's a big difference in the amount you're allowed to, you're able to treat within that lagoon. And so uh, it really is a, is a big inhibitor to the amount of treatment you need. Um, there's ways to solve it by adding baffles, by, by uh, putting aeration in that helps to mix the water, prevent it from short circuiting. Um, and, and a number of other things. If you're interested in those, go to our website, lagoons.com. But uh, it is a massive problem, and in a lot of cases, it's a problem that people don't even know they have. Um, and you might be treating well and treating okay now, but in the future, as your flows increase and you get closer to your permanent capacity, short circuiting can really be a hamper to your overall treatment process.